All right, well, good morning, everybody. If it looks early, it's because it is. I just got off of work, been working all night, and uh, this is technically my day off, although I'll have to stay up all day and fight sleep to call it a day off. It's just the way the world works with shift work. So I had a, uh, a viewer with a very good ear comment on one of my last wood cutting videos with this MS260 Pro. He told me it sounded like it was running lean. It's taken a long time to come from letting off the high throttle to the time that it would come down. And I know lean is a condition I don't want. I am not a chainsaw tuning expert. This is actually a first time for me. I'd also noticed after I just installed this brand new carburetor, it sounded like it was running well, but I have an untrained ear. But every now and then, whenever I would give it throttle, it would bog for an instant before it would take off. So we're gonna try to fix those two issues today. I wanna give credit where credit's due. I watched a video on YouTube by Steve Small Engine Saloon, and I'll put a link to his video below. And I'm gonna use a lot of his tips today to try to get this saw tuned up the way that it should be. And uh, to the viewer that was listening, listen to it. I'll take tips today. Let me know if it sounds like it's tuned right. If any of y'all have any other ideas, uh, if something just doesn't seem right, let me know. I wanna get this saw running in tip top shape now that it's got a brand new carburetor in it. Let's get started. All right, let me show you what we're going to do here. On the side of pretty much most chainsaws, as far as I know, it should come with a, uh, at least on a steel, let's talk about a steel. It says LA right here, and what this is, is my adjustment for idle. Then I've got my low speed adjustment and my high speed adjustment. And I'm actually going to work on both of those today. The low speed is what I believe is off right now, while I've got a little bit of bog when I hit the trigger and it's not revving up as instant as it should. I also purchased a tachometer and I'm going to set the high speed on this as well. I've looked up online and this saw calls for 14,000 RPM max RPM. That's the factory setting with no modifications. So I'm going to try to get somewhere in that neighborhood, maybe a little less than that. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this saw up and then uh, we'll start with the steps that I learned online and then we'll also adjust that high speed RPM. So to the untrained ears such as mine, the saw sounds pretty good. But as you can tell, whenever I get on the trigger, there is just a slight hesitation before it revs up. Also, I don't know if you can see that little tachometer. I love that it's wireless. It was idling around 31, 3200 RPMs. And uh, the manual that I found online showed that my idle should be around 2800 RPMs. So we're also gonna tune that correctly. So let me explain to you what we're going to do here. And again, this is all what I found off of Steve's website. I want to give him credit and I will have that video listed below. But what we're going to do is adjust this idle just to the point that the chain starts spinning. Then we're going to adjust our low speed screw right here in and out. And there's a certain point where it reaches a high point where the RPMs will come up and kind of reach a sweet spot. As you turn it back clockwise, you'll hear the RPMs fall off. And then once again, you turn it counterclockwise, you hear the RPMs come back up. You keep turning counterclockwise to you hear the RPMs fall off again. You kind of go back to the right at that point, and that is your sweet spot. So we're gonna do that. Then what I'll do is adjust my idle back down 
because you do not want a chainsaw spinning, the chain spinning when it's at idle. It's just too high of RPMs, it's engaging the clutch, plus it's dangerous. And since I have a tack, we'll go ahead and try to set it as close to 2800 RPMs for idle as we can. Then we'll move to the high speed. I'll adjust that in and out until I get around 14,000 RPMs or slightly less at full throttle. All right, the idle's jumping around a little by two to 300 RPM, so it's hard to get it dead on 2800. But what it looks like, a good rule of thumb if you don't have a tack, I noticed about the time my chain quit spinning, I was pretty much in that sweet spot. And I hope y'all can notice that as I turned that low speed screw in, it reached a high point. I kept turning it, RPM started to drop, so I started backing it back off. I reached that high point in the RPMs again kept going until they fell off and kind of went back and found that sweet spot in the middle. And from my understanding, that's just kind of a, a good spot to be in. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up. We're gonna see how quick the throttle response is on this. Look, uh, see if it's any better. And if it is, we'll adjust the high speed and try to get it somewhere around that 14,000 RPM range. So let's see if the trigger response is any better. <laughs> Hard to tell, but feels better. No bog in there. So I guess the real test would be once we get out and get it in some wood. So let's go ahead and adjust this high speed. See if I can get that near 14,000. I'm gonna put the saw on the ground to be safe. And uh, it, I did read uh, that you absolutely wanna do this with the bar and chain on, air filter on, just the way that you would carry the saw to the woods. Otherwise, you can over rev your saw and you won't be adjusting it properly to the uh, factory load that it should have on it. So let's see if we can get these upper RPMs toward 14,000. Man, that sounds crazy high. Well, thus far, the saw seems to be running better, at least to my untrained ear. So this worked great. I'll put a link to this. I didn't even realize they made wireless tachometers. I'm so used to the ones having a little wire that you have to run out. And this one actually came with that wire but it was also labeled as wireless. And as soon as I held it near, it picked up everything that I needed. So this is a neat little tool and I can use it on other equipment as well. So as far as the uh, you know high speed adjustment RPMs, I was able to get it to hold at a steady 14,100. And I'm glad I did this because it was up well over 15,000 to begin with. 
so it wasn't quite where it needed to be so that's back down now to what the factory says is safe although 14,000 sounds crazy high to me but i guess that's just the way these little two-stroke single cylinders are i'm getting the idle to hold between 2800 rpms and 3000 which is fine the chain's wanting to start kicking in at that speed but not quite just the way i want it throttle response seems a little better no bogging yet although it wasn't bad beforehand so like i said the next test is to go out cut some trees up i do have a few we'll get to those in an upcoming episode got a few more things around the property that we're going to take care of and i'll have that on the next video or two again this was not an educational video this is me learning you learning with me i value your input i appreciate the one person that brought that up that sounded like my saw was running a bit lean now i've got me a couple new tools learning something new that's what this channel is all about and that's what that comment section down there is for you know for positive feedback maybe i can offer you something or in a case like this you can help me out appreciate y'all watching